Hello, I'm Lim Bryan, and you're watching episode 14 of Mouse Kingdom Live. I hope you've been enjoying the recent videos posted up on our channel. I'll talk more about that later, at the end of the episode. Um, talking about the episode, in today's episode I'll be talking about Downtown Disney parking lot closures, Club Penguin Star Wars Takeover, Disney Fandom, and the D23 Expo. So, let's get started. So, more parking lot closures are coming to downtown Disney and an off-site parking ready for busy periods. A major section of parking lot at downtown Disney will soon be closing to begin work on the first of the two parking garages for Disney Springs. The current plan calls for lots I, J, N, K to be closed on July 22, 2013. Combined with a recent lot H closure, this will mean that all parking lots from Disney Quest to the Disney Pleasure Island bus stops will be closed. Disney expects to be able to accommodate parking in the west side and marketplace lots on most days, but during busy periods, parking will be available for the first time off-site. The Team Disney Corporate parking lot will be made available for guest parking, and a shuttle will transport guests between that location and the west side. Team Disney is located directly across from downtown Disney on the opposite side of Buena Vista Drive. The first of the parking garages is expected to become operational by late 2014 and is a critical component of freeing up space for the Disney Springs expansion. Now, what do you think about these parking garages? Uh, do you think it'll make things a lot easier? Uh, yeah, it'll make more space for Disney Springs, but things have to get worse before they get better. My girlfriend told me that. So, let me know down in the comment section and we'll move on. Club Penguin Star Wars Takeover is an event within Disney's Children's MMO Club Penguin. It will occur from July 25th to August 15th, 2013. The event was initially announced in June 2013 on ClubPenguin.com, with StarWars.com posting an official cinematic trailer on their website in early July, which you just watched. The event features many characters from Club Penguin donned in Star Wars themed attire and personalities such as Princess Leia and Darth Vader. The event reenacts the occurrences in Star Wars Episode 4, A New Hope. Now, this is the summary of this event. Herbert, he's a polar bear, returns to seek revenge for his defeat during Operation Hot Sauce. He assumes the role of Darth Vader, an obvious spoof of the Sith Lord Darth Vader, and recruits an army of stormtrooper penguins to make up the Galactic Empire. He builds a huge floating space station known as the Death Star, and makes plans to destroy Club Penguin Island with the Death Star's Super Laser. The island is in Code Red Alert as they discover the space station floating in the sky. The Rebel Alliance sends out a call for help to Club Penguin Island penguins work around the clock to build a landing pad for the Millennium Falcon at the dock. So that, when it lands on July 25th, 
penguins can blast into space to destroy the Death Star and save the galaxy. For those who love Star Wars, Pixar movies, Marvel superhero films, and simply all things Disney, the Disney Channel and Disney XD are become your one-stop shop in a few weeks. The cable channels will host the Disney Phantom Programming event July 30th through August 1st, 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. Eastern Pacific Time each night. Get for teens and adults that will showcase all the best stuff under the Walt Disney banner, plus a few special surprises with upcoming projects. The lineup features Pirates of the Caribbean movies, a Star Wars documentary about tech use in George Lucas films, and a host of Disney fandom premieres. For instance, Meet the Disney Legends goes into the behind-the-scenes history of Disney cartoons. Then, Once Upon a Time for the fans showcases interviews and previews featuring the ABC series Once Upon a Time and its Wonderland spinoff. And former NSYNC member Joey Fatone cooks up a Star Wars breakfast and goes on the hunt for memorabilia at Rancho Obi-Wan Museum on My Family Recipe Rocks, Star Wars. During the three-day, fandom programming will also sneak a peek at upcoming Marvel Cinematic Universe movies Thor's The Dark World, Captain America The Winter Soldier, and Guardians of the Galaxy, plus Disney fair like Planes and Frozen. Now there's a website coming out, and the website Disney.com slash fandom launches July 23rd with more info and schedule information on the event. The D23 Expo 2013 will celebrate its grand opening with a welcome from Disney Chairman and CEO Bob Iger, followed by the first of two arena presentations hosted by the Walt Disney Studios at the Anaheim Convention Center. On Friday, August 9th, the Walt Disney Studios will surprise and delight fans with a sneak peek of the incredible slate of upcoming animated films from the Walt Disney Studios, Pixar Animation Studios, and Disney Toon Studios, hosted by Chief Creative Officer John Lasseter. Then, on Saturday, August 10th, Walt Disney Studios Chairman Alan Horn will host the Walt Disney Studios Live Action Arena presentation which will pull back the curtain on upcoming releases from Disney Live Action and Marvel Studios. Both presentations will feature exclusive clips and behind-the-scenes footage, filmmaker discussions, and surprise celebrity appearances. The 4,000-seat arena, the largest venue at the Ultimate Disney Fan Event, will for the first time feature a 2,000-seat overflow theater where guests will be able to watch these once-in-a-lifetime happenings through a live feed. Now, the art of animation, art of animation, that's a resort, the art and imagination, it's the first one, uh, which will happen August 9th, like I said before. The Disney and Pixar creative officer, John Lasseter, filmmakers, and star talent will take guests on a journey through the Walt Disney Studios slate of upcoming animated features, including Walt Disney Animation Studios Frozen and Pixar Animation Studios The Good Dinosaur. And then catch the U.S. debut of the new Mickey Mouse short, Get a Horse! Major movie announcements, and a not-to-be-missed live musical performance. Now, before I continue, I couldn't really find anything new videos for the D23 Expo 2013, so just enjoy this teaser trailer from Frozen. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh,
Now the other event that's happening at the D23 Expo the next day is called Let the Adventures Begin, a live action at the Walt Disney Studios. The Walt Disney Studios chairman Alan Horn will showcase the studio's okay, exciting folks, live action release slate, including Disney Saving Mr. Banks and Tomorrowland, the then Marvel Store of the Dark World, and much more. Now, if you want to go to the D23 Expo in August, I think you're still time to buy tickets. So, tickets for the D23 Expo are 57 for a one-day adult edition and 47 for children 3 through 12. Tickets for members of D23, the official Disney fan club, are 50 for a one-day adult admission and 42 for children. Multi-day money-saving tickets are also available for both D23 members and the general public. And D23 members, G23 members can save as much as $84 off the price of admission based on the purchase of four three-day tickets at the D23 member rate. For more information on tickets and the ticket pricing structure for members and general admission, visit d23expo.com. Well, thanks for watching the newest episode of MKV, where you can get all of your Disney news fix. Now, if you want even more Disney news, you should follow us on Facebook at facebook.com slash mousekingdomvlog. You can also follow us on Twitter at the ad symbol mkingdomvlog. If you want to see the other episodes of MKV, our inside looks, and other random videos, all you have to do is click that mouse kingdom vlog icon in the corner and it'll send you straight to our YouTube page. Uh, don't forget to subscribe so that you'll be updated when we post new videos. I think that's all. So, have a great week. And always remember, if you can dream it, you have to do it, huh?